In this video, we're going to go over anger management for kids, no matter what the age. Learn as you grow. If they feel it's not okay to be angry, this may make them more angry. This may teach them as well to hide their emotions and their feelings, which could be disastrous from early on all the way through life. They will also feel like they're not being supported. And this can make them not trust their experiences, not be able to trust what's going on around them. They first need to learn how to identify the emotions that come with this anger so they can learn to calm themselves and control their anger so they don't hurt themselves or someone else. It'll also help keep them out of trouble in places like school and help with any destructive patterns or talking back. To do this, they will need to learn the words for the experiences they are having. So let's start with the body. What are you feeling? palms are sweaty, my skin's hot, my heart's racing, butterflies in the stomach or that knot in the stomach. These are all signs as well as tense muscles, breathing heavy, and not so nice thoughts. And then we need to get them familiar with the words that go along with these feelings and emotions. Could be anger, frustration, anxious, sad, hurt, maybe embarrassed, rage, annoyance, helpless, scared. Once they have learned all that and they understand what it feels like when it's beginning to pop up, they can now learn how to stop and control it before it gets out of hand then all they need to know is learn to walk away, step back away from the situation, no matter where you are, home, school. If you're at school and say your friends made you angry, take a step back, go off and breathe, count to 10. And if nothing else, they need to know that it's safe to go to a teacher to talk out and express their feelings so they can help them calm down. And then they need to come to you when they get home and express those emotions. And the more they learn to talk about it and the more they learn to take a step back, it's building their communication skills. And soon they'll be able to talk to their peers on what was bothering them and how to help them and their peers understand each other. And all depending on the age, there are different breathing techniques for extremely young, a lot of different techniques. But as they grow up and they get older, they can do the same techniques that we can as adults. They can start out counting to 10 and breathing, even taking a sip of water and counting to 10. Now, if any of you would like me to upload another video for the young, young children, different breathing techniques and a few tips and tricks to get their mind away from the anger? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's enough people, I will upload that video. I'll post it in the description and in the anger management playlist so it's easier for your reference. So if anything in this video helped you today, when you'd like to learn a little bit more, hit the like, subscribe, ring that bell notification so you'll be notified next time I upload a video to help you Ride the healing waves to your best life.